Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome back to Verem Zoo, where it's August again, and it's minus three degrees, and it's snowing for whatever reason. Um, we are back, and we are having what the entire world of Europe does not have uh, at the moment, and this is winter, uh, for whatever reason. Anyways, today we are doing the opposite, and I hope that, you know, we can catch up on some uh, Planet Zoo awesomeness soon, because lately, I think it, it almost felt like things are going down a little bit. Um, why? You just don't go into your habitat then because that would make things a lot more easy mate just go in where are you uh selma where are you i cannot find you so where is she selma's not in so you you could just go inside oh it's salama by the way um good and um, also by the way if you are hearing a bit more echoing in my room today that is because i basically completely um redid my my office room and now everything is is open there is nothing in this room it's very very clean uh looking nice but also the echoing is obviously a little bit of an issue here and uh, that's why so my plan for today is to build a elephant house in this center area therefore we are going to put down some heaters first of all though we can see something and also because we will need them anyways um so let's go to habitat and where is the heaters and coolers so basically we're just putting down uh, some heaters everywhere here just to make sure that we are um, not affected too much by the snow because i have the suspicious feeling um, that we are having a lot more uh, trouble over the next couple minutes in this episode today and I'm I'm not feeling that there is any any less snow coming because now we are turning into winter it's September now so maybe there is not really anything else uh, happening so let's just put all the heaters down maybe we don't need that many in the end but I just want to make sure that we can see everything and uh, it, it you know we are not affected by the weather too much okay so what i'm going to do is i'm i'm willing to make this whole area uh, starting over here so that should be already the first part of the elephant habitat and then we are going to make like an overpass that goes somewhat into the into the house and we will have to integrate all the stuff buildings so that it's not too much of an issue um for the people also my plan is to I, initially i wanted to get rid of this um little staff pathway over here but my idea was why not integrate that um with terrain you know just pretty much uh kind of use the terrain over here uh to a degree wait oh the heaters are gone now right <sighs> whatever rudy why why are you so stupid? Why are you so stupid? Okay, so actually we need to th find the heaters now to make sure that we are not having any heaters in the ground that we uh, lose later on because that's a bit of an issue to be honest. Um, the heaters don't work anymore if they are below ground level, so I'm just willing to put them higher up again so make sure that they are not. I, I could have also just even deleted them pretty quickly because Oh well, whatever. So that's where we put them down. Oh look at that, we don't have any snow right now. Actually, I'm willing to pause the game to be honest, but then we are not making any money. Oh, oh that's actually a hard decision. Because honestly, hmm, let's see if, if the weather is keeping that way. Look at that, I mean we had in August, we had minus 3 and now in October it's 16 degrees. Sorry, so Frontier if you're listening. That would be one of the most necessary changes uh, overall um, because Honestly, I, I really don't think that even in like this area over here, even like in Finland or wherever, it potentially will still be not snowy already in August. Um, at, uh, as long as it's not the entire climate change already happening, you know. Uh, so <laughs> that would be really cool if there would be a decent change to it. Um, but yeah, so I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if, if this will be exactly how it is with the bridge over here, but I'm willing to do it that way. And bring the the gas path all the way over here, which we are which we are going to build first, because I want to make sure that this looks good and and we are we are having a certain a feeling already for what we are going to do. So this is going to be the bridge we are working with, and we're going to bring this. Oh God, no, no, no just no, nope, 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 and nope. So thank you for nobody nope. Okay, um, that was a weird sound. Okay, so uh, we just started off with this pathway over here, um, but now we can. Uh, just bring that a bit more down. I'm willing to use a little trick here to just make it a bit more subtle and not too crazy. Okay, I think I think that'll work. Okay, so let's see if we can bring that. Yeah, so exactly like this. And then we have that and bring it over here. So that's all a bit more subtle than it would be if I do it normally with the path. And then we just bring that around this corner. 
So that's gonna be that's gonna be where we go. And then the idea I have to incorporate that into this area is really, you know, leave it as high as it is over here. And then we will have some, it, it's kind of more like a platform where you can look into the habitat rather than really having this anti-habitat um, kind of surrounded by the pathway. I just wanna make sure that uh, people can follow a certain way. So we're going around this habitat. This is for, so, uh, for sure, but I want to still, okay, let's just do this over here, I guess. So that's gonna be where the middle piece will be. Can I just make this? Yeah, 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 there we go. I just had that, okay, so here we go. Awesome, we smooth this out. Um, and then we're going with a way uh, smaller one. Okay, we should definitely, okay, let's do it that way. And now delete this one again. Yeah, that's a lot better. That is a lot better. So we, we do have to hide these buildings away eventually, but I'm not focusing too much on it right now. So I'm just going to focus on having this go all the way around to make sure that we do have a, a nice little area to look at. And uh, yeah, it, it'll, it'll be like a really big greenhouse-ish thing. Um, but maybe I'm even doing it wrong here. We have to see, like I, I don't know exactly how we'll do the housing. Maybe we are making a little bit of an easy one to, to see if it works in today's episode to make sure that you, know, you get the idea, I guess. Um, who's gonna who's gonna fight? Uh, okay, so what is the issue again? Let's, let's see. I'm not really sure what again is the problem because they were inbreeding, yes, but did they mature? Or what was the actual reason? Uh, let's see. Uh, how many animals do we have? Like three? Mm, ah, two girls and one boy. First of all, you get better food now. Uh, this is for sure. And so Ria, how about your? Wait, no. Okay, Ria is fighting with Salama, okay? So, um, no, it's Kamaria is fighting with Salama and she is 3.0 years old. Wow, look at that, 5,000 appeals. Okay, never mind. So I'm so sorry, but you are going to be released into the wild, 972. I'm wondering though if I should put her on the market. You know, I, I think I wanna put her on the market. Someone wants to have someone from the Camel Zoo. Uh, okay, let's go to, whoops, animal trading. Let's see if we can just sell her. That would be awesome, I guess, just to make sure that, uh, you know, she's not uh, off the game, just away. I want to... No, wait, oh, wait, I need to just quickly unpause the game, I guess. So, here we go. Go back into... Oh, I love, I love that fighting animation. It's actually... I did, Is the fur reacting to it? Because they, if they fight, they do have the fur on the back going, or like the, the, the hair on the back going a bit more um, high up. So it's when, I don't know if, if it's not normal, but if not, that would be super cool. And I, I guess it is normal though, but yeah. Okay, let's see uh, again if we can do some animal trading with our wonderful cheetah. And there we go, this is Kamaria. And we're going to set her for a, wait, no, 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 11,000, wow. Trade her for, come on. Why was she like, is now 500, okay, whatever. We're going to do this for 880, 880. I think that's a fair price. Let's see if that works. So 880, that should be good. And what's going on, animal stress, low welfare, whatever. Yeah, it's always the same. I mean, I could put down some of the, you know what we do? We're going to put down uh, some of the signs for them. Oh God, where am I? Uh, um, no blueprints and where are the signs to keep quiet there we go I think we should put them down as well to make sure that our uh, animals are not stressed all the time I'm just going to put them all down here to make sure that these people are not screaming all the time uh, I really hope that this does the job so let's also tell them over here to be a bit more quiet okay so that's it powers are still failing Call mechanic and also, whoops, every month. That's already set to every month. Okay, mechanics, please do your job. Do your freaking job. Okay, so I, I, I wonder if people are taking the route already. Yes, they are. Um, but now let's just do. <sighs> I'm, I'm not sure if I want to bring that down so that this is another outside area where the guests could also see. But I, no, no, I still want to have the animals traverse out of here. So that should be the outdoor area and this is the indoor area. Mm, all right, so let's do this and bring it all back to here. 
So, oh wait, okay. So this is where guests cannot see, right? This should be all like all backstage, which is fine because the elephants should have enough privacy. Um, that means I'm going to bring this all the way over here. And then, oh uh, yeah, that's gonna be interesting how, okay, I'm, I'm gonna connect this here. I think that's better. This is definitely better. Okay, so we're gonna smooth this out a bit more. Awesome, so this is good. Uh, I feel almost like that should work. And um, okay, now before we do more, I'm okay. I, I do, I do build this little dome structure first. Um, I'm not doing the roof though, but I think it's it's fair to say that it would be a good idea to do it already. Now let's go a little bit with this style, not too crazy, but a little bit with this style because I, I, I like that quite a bit. So we are going to work with the plaster wall first, limestone. Our oh, limestone is also good, I guess. Can we? we oh. We cannot recolor the limestone wall. Never mind. Then we need to go with the plaster wall. This is that one over here. And we're going to do this in. That's actually way too still way too bright. I'm gonna make this very very darkish. Mm. And I guess I'm gonna do two this time. Okay, two of them is fine. And then I want to have like um, a very wooden-ish. Piece. So that's kind of the that's kind of the nice looking part of the building, and the rest will be the rest will be now a, a bit more different. Um, I think we can have bright windows. Here we go. Like which height is it? I think no, we have to go higher up with this little style uh, thing because I want to make sure that yeah, that's kind of the height we can go for, and the the rest needs to be concrete, I guess, or at least something. Is that working too? No, I'm gonna go with concrete because that's mimicking a bit more also the entrance style of that park anyway. So yeah, I'm willing to make this look as good as possible um, with the pieces available. And now what we do as well is we're going to create more or less like a structure that can hold the, uh, the pathway, which is going above, you know? So we're going to bring that in as well. Uh, I think we can even, you know what we can do? We can even just move that and duplicate and go for a two meter grid and then we have it that way i think that's fine is that the height we go for it's almost it's almost okay so uh, i mean what we can always do is go to plaster and wait i should type correctly then uh plaster 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 and now let's use something Disease discovered, vet called. Okay, wait a second. I don't know if it's researched. So what does the grizzly bear has? It's the Campylla. I can never ever read that. So let's see if we do have uh, research. That one, we, oh well, we do have one level research already. Okay, so that's what we do. Uh, oh wait, the timber wolf is not researched entirely. That's interesting. So what is the sound? Oh, it's the drinking sound of the bear. Oh, so funny. Okay, um, I was I was a bit confused. Okay, so let's quickly finish off this build here. Um, I'm wondering. Okay, before I do that, let me just do it a bit more easy. I don't want to spend too long on that one. Um, but now this is pretty easy. I can just only not only go with another piece. I could just raise it till it's okay. Yeah, that's that's perfect. Okay, so now this one would go a lot closer to here, and I want to make sure that this is nice from both sides. So going to cover this up a bit more uh, stable like this and I'm gonna push another one to the inside because simply I want to be a bit more yeah so that's that's nice so it, it kind of creates a bit more of a nice balcony look and the same goes for the other side and then I think we cannot fill anything in there no we cannot but we can always go with uh, nature and then have the gardening and then there is this one uh, which is always cool because it is so thin it always fits in these little gaps nicely in and then we can do some some planting here and there just to make sure that it looks a bit nicer and it's not uh, feeling too off so that's the way we could do it and I think also from the height we are already pretty fine with it um, let me just only only do a nice little boundary to the top uh, which rounds off the building uh, which we could oops easily do over here like that. I'm gonna put this also to the inside. Oops, to make it also look good from the inside. I'm gonna make it that way, that way, and also these two inner ones. And then 
we can have basically any kind of roof we want but i want to start with a flat roof um for a very easy reason and this is i don't want to go into the drama uh, drama later on once we have to connect this this looks uh, pretty ugly then so i'm going with the good old corrugated roof because that is what you realistically would see here anyways and then a nice little dome could be done in the middle but that's kind of how i want to approach that for now um and we're going to just use that as we go and um, push that oops, around here and i do want to have like a building of two uh, I'm too lazy to just make it with one. I mean, obviously with just one, it would definitely look a bit cleaner and the corners will not look as uh, as crap as they will potentially look in a bit. Um, but you know, my, my thing is I don't want to make this uh, let's play too long. We're 15 minutes in, we have no animals. We didn't do the habitat yet. And oh God, um, we didn't really care about anything else than, than this build. And I do want to make sure that at the end of each every episode, there is uh, somewhat of a progress to see. I mean, okay, per definition, there's always progress, and unless I just don't uh, leave the game only running, <laughs> which I could do. Uh, but no, uh, yeah, I, I just always want to make sure that there is a certain progress going on. Um, and also, uh, I, I like the fact that the people seem to use this also as a viewing gallery for the other stuff which is around, as you can see them doing over there already. Uh, so yeah, that is kind of something uh, totally cool, I guess. And I'm also willing, I'm willing to, you know what I, okay, you know what, I'm, I'm just, I'm just building that building and then I'm going to convert the pathway to it. I think that's easier than just trying to align to the pathway completely. <laughs> it's making the whole thing a li little easier. Uh, now what I want to do here is I want to make sure that we don't um, have the whole area covered for the elephants simply because I want to make sure that there is a, a little bit more backstage area going on uh, where we could also put some more stuff because we still don't have enough facilities for the people and this is what we have to change anyway so yeah I'm I'm, I'm using this I guess okay so let's uh, go I think that angle is fine we're just hitting the current quarantine uh, ever so slightly so that's fine nothing major happens there I'm gonna put it like this you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna make these corners look a bit a bit better by just putting a pillar to the sides. Uh, that should be the easiest solution. To oh, how are you even? Ah, oh, whatever. Just do it. We get another baby. We're gonna sell this baby, and then we're gonna get you a new partner. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Okay, where is my building? Uh, in the middle here. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, you know what I could do to make the whole thing a bit easier? Let's just like do it that way. One more. No. All right, no, we, we're going to use that one then. Just cover this corner up a bit nicer. <sighs> okay, so is that exactly... I should have just done it this way anyways and then built the, the pathway around. It was just for me a little test here, I guess. Uh, not too clever what I did anyways. Okay, so we're just going to do that. Um, by the way, guys, a question of the day. I forgot this totally in the last couple of days. Um, also because of all the... Um, all the giveaways we did and so but the question of the day would be today um how are you experiencing the winter this year um and this question is very special for me because i and you can t totally hear that from my voice already i am totally suffering from pollen allergy like crazy i cannot tell you how crazy it is this year and in all honesty, I hate this winter. It's way too warm, it's way too crazy. It's um, like we had 18 freaking degrees yesterday on the last day of January. 18 degrees, and like again, 18. Not like eight or like minus eight or minus 18, what would still be somewhat normal. No, we had freaking 18 degrees. And I, I'm sorry, but I cannot handle this. That is really not my thing. And I feel really, really bad with that, to be honest. Like, my, my health is not really benefiting from that as well. My, my face looks like a 16-year-old uh, who just came into uh, puberty, to be honest. Um, because I, you know, I really have that issue that whenever the weather is this way, my uh, whole body is just like, okay, you know, you know what? Your skin is now going to be destroyed by this weather. Unfortunately, it is exactly this way, and I cannot do anything about it. Yeah, I'm wondering if I need that platform anyways. I... I could imagine being a big fan of that, like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we are not doing a platform. For whatever reason, but I... I think I'm fine with, like, doing it that way. 
And then also bring this one around and make that look a bit better. Can't find yourself in the stuff room or oh, whatever. Just go and look for your freaking stuff room if you cannot. <sighs> that is so annoying. Like they're never having any staff rooms. I really don't get that. There are so many staff rooms and I assigned them to everyone and they're still like, mm, no, 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 no. I don't have a staff room anyway, so uh, please leave me alone. Okay, so can I just connect that here? <sighs> Finally. Okay, so this is how we do it. Um, and then, okay, let's let's just delete the path here anyways. And then we're going to make this look nicer. But yeah, so question of the day definitely is how are you experiencing your winter? Are you kind of a, a winter person anyways? Or are you just like, yeah, no, whenever you can just give me warm temperatures because I am I am always like uh, a sucker of, of warm temperatures no matter which time of the year it is. What is going on again? So... What is your issue then? Camel food to you go into camel food and then this should solve the issue because there is okay whatever can research center with space okay you know what we do oh, just what I said we're slapping down some more buildings um, okay so I'm I'm going to put down another okay let's go to facilities I'm going to do now I'm going to leave uh, okay so staff room I'm gonna put another one small one ah uh, we cannot. We cannot because it's not fitting in here for whatever reason. Okay, so that's here. And then we're gonna make another vet surgery that goes, huh? Can we squeeze that in here somehow? Yeah, but I think we cannot connect the pathway, can we? Uh, I could put that in here and then I can put this one here. And now uh, we should be able to connect this. No, go back to, okay. Okay, awesome, 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 awesome. There we go, connected. Cheetah is about to have offspring, great. Now, okay, what is your issue then? Uh, training will, will, will cancel all reasons. Uh, what, yeah, okay, but you, you're not, no work zone. So you should find one now because there's a new one. Okay, so what is that? Okay, still the same, facility broken. Vet research is complete, okay. So that's, the, did you, okay, so we do have this one done. It's broken. Okay, 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 okay. All seems to be about right. This is going to be our quite modern looking elephant house then in the end. Um, so we're 22 minutes into this episode. Don't want to make it too long, but I, I mean, I say that every episode. Um, just doing the pathway now before we do anything else. Well, if it's turning any much more bright now, please. Okay, five meters should be what we need, right? Okay, so the challenge is just to bring that in here to make it look okay, I guess. Uh, like well, like this, like that, and like that, and you now, yeah, the corners are most likely the most tricky thing to build, but I think, I think that will be all fine. I mean, it's franchise. We don't need to be super precise. If I do this now in, uh, in my uh, sandbox thing, I would definitely be a bit more careful with what I build here, but uh, for that one, it should be all fine to go that way and just make it look as, as good as we can but you know, as good as necessary as well. I think that's fine. I think that's fair to do it that way. So, okay, we are approaching now the other side of it. Um, the only thing is I don't wanna have anything stick to the inside. I don't really care too much about the outside, but the inside, right. Okay, so is there anything sticking into the inside? Not really, okay, it looks fine to me. What about the outside? Um, no, that's all fine. Okay, great. Now we do have to make uh, sure that this is going to be a proper habitat. Now this one is not because that looks, I mean, can they traverse it? It's pretty steep though. It's really steep down here. Now I really wonder if, but we will see, we will see. Okay, so we are going to start with the barriers and we're going to build the barriers very close to um, this area here. Let me just make them as, as high as I can. Which is gonna go and follow, okay, we need to go even higher. I'm gonna make this, uh, I'm gonna make this follow the pathway. So we on one side have um, somewhat of a nice boundary to the pathway. I mean, if I can, because it definitely will be an issue over here now. So we do need to go with the invisible fence anyways. Let's see, like that, and then like that. And we will go exactly like so okay so this is where we need to connect to the building itself because 
everything else is already done now let me just put that here okay so yeah yeah, yeah whatever just just put that okay we, we need to work out how we do solve that issue anyways but um now i can just do the uh okay so we just do it that that way just around the building i mean the walls should keep the elephants and all oh, also i want to do any uh, some other animals in there as well some other african animals that go i don't know if giraffes would uh, put in or uh, fit in there as well because um I, i'm not really sure how the size situation will work um like how much space they need because i remember that the especially the uh wonderful friends the elephants will need a lot of space now uh that is okay just so can i now have that one yes okay so let's just bring this wall in here to the back and again as i said this is going to be more or less like really following the backstage area you, you will be able to see these animals uh from in here but this wall can be very tall indeed uh because it's covering up the backstage and and for sure that is uh how you would do this in a real zoo too and then we will definitely also have some nice uh back covers as well uh behind that bu the buildings um now we are nearly done and i'm willing to put this here i'm gonna um gonna do this a lot shorter so that i make it that, that and then the tall wall again i think we can yeah why not connect to here and then I guess uh, it would be clever to embed that with this building as well. Just go here and then, yeah, let's connect them here. All right. The habitat itself is done potentially already to a certain degree kind of nicely, I guess. Uh, we're going to raise only these pieces. Hopefully it's going to do the job. It does. So this is the way we do it. And yeah, this is not going to stay that way. So we're going to make this look a bit more uh, natural. Hello. What is going on? There we go. Let's make that a bit slower. I think I think four meters is okay to start with. Um, mm -hmm. And we're gonna go around four meters here too. Okay, that is great. And now since that is all very high indeed, we can just now, and also we will now push this as close as we can to the pathway. That's it, okay. So can we also have that closer here? Yeah. Okay, so that is that was looking fine, making already what it should do. All right, so that's it. And now let's try to bring this. What did I just do? I want to bring this one as close as possible to the path. All right, awesome. Mm, and same goes for you. I don't know how close I can get that, but oh, that's actually pretty close. That's fine. Let's do it that way. Awesome. Okay, so the only thing we need to close off is this bit over here. I think we can just go and... and okay, we cannot. <laughs> because I think it's because of the height, right? Um, cannot make that anything else, right? Because it's... Okay, if I do that, like, lower... Okay, so... How high can I go? Okay, that is high enough. Right. And then let's do this one. And move it into this corner. Awesome! So yeah, that's, that's already pretty much like an entrance. I like that. Um, there's also no chance for them to escape, not really. Um, we have to see also how we make this area traversable anyways, because... See, that's that's like a little bit of an issue here anyways, so... Then we have to smooth this whole... Okay, no. I guess it will be easier to push that whole bit down. Here we go. As long as the area is traversable for them, I am totally fine with it, but we have to... Make sure that this is a proper exit for the animals where they can meander through. And you know, elephants have like a crazy, crazy radius uh, to move. And so that is why we potentially need this to be to be open like that and, you know, go in and out. But we need the same uh, kind of over here. Um, and then, yeah, I guess it's, it's important to just make it go down a bit so that there is enough space for them to traverse through uh, but yeah so let's just bring that all down one and two is that the same no it's not uh gonna bring that down as well yes 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 all right so that's it um just for the moment you know this is going to be looking hopefully a lot better soon um power source failed as always okay gotcha i think we before we before we put the animals in 
uh, we should make sure that every corner is already somewhat secure uh, and this one over here isn't so we're going to just use a bit of a boulders here to create uh, some nicer looking area all right same goes on this side so that's it and then um, yeah the rest has been done as always with a lot of bigger boulders hopefully the animals can still traverse through the middle uh, which is always a little bit of a challenge uh, as we know Oh god, the scorpion head offspring. That means in a bit we will have some severe issues again about these ones. But, you know, what, what else should we do? Um, they will make us money. How much money do we have to do? Okay, a bit more than half a million. Uh, should do the job. Should be fine. So that is cool. Um, they will be able to still go through here, our staff members. Yes, they will. That is good. You know, making that look nice we can always do, but... For the guests, it looks already pretty okay-ish to me. Now, what we what we will be able to do is kind of create something with the rocks here. I really want to make sure that this is looking uh, promising and, and nice and welcoming. Uh, I guess I'm, I'm just using that here, like so. And we will cover up the rest then, but I feel like this is, yeah, that works. This makes, this makes it look good. I, I didn't expect that, but I am a bit of a fan. Okay, so let's see. Um, <laughs> I did not believe it's that easy to make it look somewhat natural, but it apparently is. So that's cool. That's cool. Let's put another one here and here. Oh, that looks, that doesn't look natural. I was just about to say that not everything will look good though, but uh, yeah, well, this eventually doesn't. <laughs> Uh, we have to change that a bit, but yeah, we will do, we will do, we will do this. Uh, which one is that? Is that the bigger one? Yeah, let's push that a bit over here. And then this one needs to be tilted because otherwise, uh, it's a, oh, well, it still looks not perfectly fine, but for the moment and for what we need to have it for, it is all fine. And I guess, uh, if we, if we can squeeze some more in, like some, some darker ones as well, uh, we should be able to make it look nice in a bit. Okay, so let's do it that way. And then also, you see, this stuff area is also hidden away a bit nicer. It's it's not as prominent anymore. And, uh, you know, with some trees and stuff, it should look... By the way, talking of these, we could also go biome, uh, tundra. There we go. We should find some suitable ones in a bit. Oh, well, we have some bushes first. Okay, so let's put another spruce tree down. And we have some... Some berries, I don't know, berry bush or something, is that right? Oh, whatever. Uh, we got like a proper tree or proper proper bush here. Okay, so that's good. Timberwolves about to mate. Timberwolves are pretty active. I like that a lot. Uh, like, what is that? Are these the balloons? Where are the balloons? I can see the balloons. Balloons? Oh, yeah, there we go. Can I pop them? Eh, I can pop them. I remember that that was possible oh, for a while. I forgot about that. Ooh, this is so good. Okay, can the elephants... It almost looks like they could escape over here. So let's put another one down. 32 minutes in. Okay, we need to get the elephants. Uh, oh, no, we actually have to make this a proper habitat first. Oh, I totally forgot about uh, that. Okay, so let's do the barrier. And then we do that. And nope, I'm going to do it to the side. And then we have to move you... I cannot bring you closer to the inside. Okay, well, let's delete all these. And then I'm gonna make this gate go in here exactly. Like uh, this, okay, here we go. And now invisible fence and invisible fence, awesome. And I really hope that I, I didn't, I did not hit the right one. Okay, well, I nearly hit the right one, I guess. So let's see how we can do this with Oh, first of all, let's copy this over. Nope. And on this side as well. It's almost perfect. It's not perfect, but it's almost perfect. Okay, that's cool. Now let's do the wall and we go for plaster. Here we are. And gonna squeeze that in. And I guess if I'm not completely stupid, I should be able to push that exactly in the space, which is happening. I'm gonna make this uh, that one anyways. Okay, cool. Now this is done. This is the connection, awesome. I'm gonna make the path, a staff pathing, uh, which is going to connect here. Are you kidding? Okay, whatever. There was like a bit of a weird thing going on. Never mind, never mind. Okay, so we have been 12,000. Um, do we have any animal, in, like an African elephant 
Do we have an African elephant already in? We have a zebra though, that is good. That is good. Mm, we could get another zebra though, uh, or zebra, well, however you want, but. Okay, so, oh, form some black bear, nope. Nobody, nope. We need uh, 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 the African elephant filter. And not only female, even though, how the hell is that like this expensive? Okay, let's see if we, oh my God. Okay, definitely gonna get this one. Awesome, and we're gonna go for male as well, filter. Come on, give me a good male elephant. Okay, that's not good, is it? Well, it's actually, it's okay. It's okay, well, we got two. We got two that, they, they are pretty okay-ish for me. Uh, can I select both? Oh, I cannot, obviously I cannot. Um, you go in. And I didn't even check how old it is. Uh, okay, they're both not too old, so that's fine. Um, move and go in here as well. I'm gonna wanna see how that looks. And I think we could put the zebra in as well, but like space-wise, that should be all fine. What they don't have at this point is water, and I want to definitely have the water inside here. So let's quickly do this so they can get a little pond in the middle. Here we go. Oh my god, this is not a little pond. Um. <laughs> okay, so let's do a little pond then, indeed. I guess it would be easier if I do it that way. It's almost like a little river in the middle. Okay, and then we're gonna smooth. Smooth the hell out of it. Okay, smooth the boo the Okay, now let's put the water in. Nope, that was too high. This is the lower one, yeah, okay, so that's the elephant. Okay, the first thing we need to do, is that the male one? Yes, and we need to see if there is any spot to break out. No, it's not. So how about your terrain in general? Okay, it's way, it's way bigger than I expected. That is great. Uh, it's too much grass long, too less soil. We're gonna get rid of that uh, issue in a bit. Uh, let's do this quick. I'm gonna make a soil for you as well around the water. Um, is that two less grass short then? Okay, so first of all, we need to make this a little bit more like this. Okay, now we need to get rid of the long grass by putting down short grass, you know. That's how you do it. Just do it like so. Awesome, my elephants are happy indeed. Um, no free, okay, we need another keeper, which we are going to do in a second. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Zoo, yeah, don't tell me. Don't tell me, don't tell me, I need another keeper. Keeper is going to be here. And the keeper is getting a new work zone, which is this habitat, and that one, and that one, and that one. And, uh, ooh, we don't have a kitchen here, do we? Okay, first of all, I'm gonna get you to this kitchen, but we're going to make another one soon. It's Elephant A, because it's African. Hopefully that is going to help me. And before we do so, I need to put down another facility, which is going to be the, uh, no, 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 where is it? There we go, keeper hut, the big one. It does fit here, yeah, all right, okay, okay, okay. Now let's quickly do the change to our work zone as well. Uh, uh, elephant, where is the elephant A? Elephant A, edit the work zone, and you get a kitchen as well. Awesome, done, great. Now, before we go on, uh, we need to make, make the vet research on the African elephant. There we go. And what's going on with the elephant? Animal's hungry, okay. So this is all fine, all fine facilities. It's not really that big of an issue. Um, but we need to go to habitat and a species and African elephant and now everything. So first of all, they get a food trough um, because we don't want to have them starve, do we? No, we don't. I get some bedding uh, down here in the back which is only there for a moment. We will make this all look a lot nicer. Uh, the rubbing pillar goes down here in the back. I, I do want to make them go there. And they do give, uh, get the hanging feeder as well. And the tree scarf goes all, also in. But as you guys told me, I don't should, I, I shouldn't put too much uh, other stuff in. So I'm not willing to, you know, uh, cramp them with toys right now. Let's see if, if they're doing good. Like, um, Enrichment is nearly okay, so toy enrichment is not good. Okay, maybe maybe I'm just giving them one more toy then. Uh, they have, like, okay, what is... 
what is toy for them okay they have this pillar and i think that's about it right i'm gonna give them the mud bath but i want to have the mud bath in here as well like put it here oh yeah that's okay now they should be fine <laughs> the first thing they're pooping like okay <sighs> whatever maybe i should assign another keeper then but yeah so we have the two elephants actually we can just make a quick photo because it's uh, looking already pretty okay. Well, the sun is not working for our favor right now. Um, okay, we should just keep on playing for a, a bit until the sun is, is back again because that's not that's not how we want to do it. Yeah, yeah, just come poof it. Come poof it. Um, this time around, I want to try and make the um, plans in here as good as we can. So um, they are fine with having no plans, but I do want to have at least some in here, some local ones, and we're going to fence them off with some little bunkers or something, so really that the animals cannot get there, because, you know, element, uh, elephants in general are very destructive when it comes to uh, the plants, and they are really likely to, well, well just to destroy it, and uh, we don't want to have this destroyed, and yeah, that's what we do. Uh, we could actually also, you know what we could do? Uh, we can also put the zebra in already. Uh, where is it? The plain zebra? No, 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 don't. Don't, don't, don't. Quick trade. Here we go. Okay. Just bring that in as well. That should be all fine. And what is going on with the... Can't find accessible research. But the thing is, there are enough research centers. Research center small. Oh, then maybe they are not. So can I... Let's put another one down here. Another one down here. It's not like we do not have the money. We do have the money though. Okay, so now as the people will spend a lot of time going around here, um, I will definitely give them already some boxes to put money in before we do the education in general. I'm gonna put this down here and uh, there we go, donation boxes. Gonna put them everywhere around here. Um, this will be interesting though because the little plants we're going to put here in these things uh, will be a bit of a problem because they will be counted towards the plants that go into the habitat of the animals this is always uh, it's always a little bit tricky because um usually it should not be too big of a deal but yeah so this is going to be the blah 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 blah, blah, blah. let's do that one um, has been in a box for too long unbox the animal i removed that pillar didn't i yeah i did so there should be enough space oh look at that Lovely little food down here. Mmm, talking of food, I need to end because I am going to eat now as well. My wife should be ready with the food. That, oh god, that sounds so wrong. Usually I do cook, but today, since I uh, couldn't do another episode because of my uh, secret project, which is nearly done, but I couldn't do Yosemite, as you potentially could have told from this video anyways, um, there was the reason that I needed to uh, record quickly, and she was like, okay, then I'm going to make food, and yeah, that's what we do. Uh, and the video can render in this time, so that's pretty cool. Also, I like the fact that the staff members could like watch in here. Um, I think that's a, that's a nice idea. So next episode will be about doing the roof, proper roofing. Um, can we get some light, please? Because that would be awesome. Let me just speed up the game quickly. I had to make a proper screenshot. There we go. This is going to be the... Okay, can I have some more light? Sun is nice. Come on. You can just go in here as well. Like, is the sun... Uh, what time is it though? Can I can I check the time of the day? Oh, whatever. Okay, we're going to leave it as this, and then I'm going to make a photo of that area. I'm not even sure how to do a proper thumbnail this time. Um, first of all, like that, and then just like do it. Um, yeah, we, we have to see if 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 it's an interesting at all because it is not. It, it's looking a bit stupid to be honest because of the light. So I'm, I'm really trying to get a good th thumbnail done for today's episode, but I believe there is not too much I can do about that. Like it's it's gonna be it's gonna be not too interesting looking uh, if I, if I do it only that way because the house is not done yet, and I love that <laughs> I love that they're both. Oh, I love how the zebra is like. I really do love how it it looks so dirty. Like really, I do love that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like an, another animal. That is so funny. Okay. Um, yeah, guys, we are we are potentially done for today's episode. Uh, I think we, we did a great job uh, in, in squeezing that in, and it, it really rounds off this area uh, quite a bit. Um, and I'm really happy about how this turned out. Like a bit more foliage and a bit more foresty-ish things, a bit more less... Uh, 
yeah, barrier heavy design and we should be pretty, pretty well prepared uh, for the future of Veronkiato Zoo, uh, which I cannot wait about uh, to see how this will be, will be doing. You know what I do? Okay, I'm, I'm going to cheat now a bit. I'm going to cheat now. I'm going to move this animal onto this a little hill over here. Just come fly over. Boom, there we go. Now put it here and just whoop, wait until the glitter is gone. Nope, stop not moving. Uh, this is going to be interesting because that's going to be... Uh, okay, but we can still move a bit closer. We're going to be in the new elephant house. Uh, just another perspective. Uh, it's not really working. Okay, where is it going? Just go to your rubbing pillar down here. You don't, you're not? Okay, so which animals are going to... Animal died? Uh, it died of old age. Okay, I was about to say, oh my god, please do not die out of starvation. But no, it's not. <laughs> It is like the climbing highway here, okay. Uh, it's just been on the box for too long. Unbox the animal. Here we go. Awesome. All right. Uh, yeah, we are about done, guys, for today's episode. Okay, uh, last one last try to make like a nice little thumbnail, which is not going to happen, but yeah. Uh, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, as always, oh, by the way, I should just mention that I did send out all the DLC codes for the lucky winners. I hope you all received your codes well, and I really hope that you guys all enjoyed the little giveaway. I really hope that in the future we will be able to do some more of those giveaways. Um, I am quite sure that we will have the potential. So yeah, I really hope that you guys still enjoy playing Zoo and my content. Let me know in a comment down below if you do so it helps out you know as always it it helps for the algorithm it helps for everything and it helps uh just for me to have the interaction with you guys however this is been it for today and i really wish you guys a wonderful saturday see you in the next one until then have a good one and bye Alrighty guys, thank you for watching this video, I really do appreciate that. As always, uh, make sure to check out also my social media channels, you can find me everywhere under at RudyRanCamel. Also, big thanks to the crew, uh, you can see it on the left hand side right now. And as always, if you want to see more, you click that card on the top right. And if you want to stick around because you like the stuff you have just saw, you just saw, whatever, you know what I mean, just uh, click the sub button which is to the bottom right of the screen right now. But everything else I can say is have a great time and see you next time. Bye guys.